Well, Theo, I think it's fair to say both parties wanted to get this move done, but congratulations, you're now an um, official Leighton Orient player. How does it feel? Excellent. Um, yeah, it's been it's been a couple of weeks in the making, certainly since we broke up. But um, even before then, I was obviously, you know, I didn't I didn't hide my feelings upon the fact that you know I've, I loved it here last year and was looking forward to hopefully trying to get something done permanently in the summer. And here we are. Mm. I remember being in the sports club afterwards, and you saying like, it might happen, and, and there was a big cheer after from the fans. And I imagine you've kind of really enjoyed playing for the sporters. Yeah, I have. I loved it. I mean, I I think sometimes you just find you find a place that you just gel with and and here was that place for me last season um just i you know just had a, I had a good connection with the supporters supporters appreciated the the work that i put in um and that doubled down for me to the to the point where i, I always felt like i had to give give my best for them and i'm really looking forward to having two more years to to achieve things that we didn't achieve last year with 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 everybody mm. and that seemed to translate really well onto the pitch probably one of your most productive seasons Definitely, uh, but I think it would have been my most productive season. I think it's probably the most I've played, um, and the, the best output as well. And I think, I think part of that is definitely down to feeling confident in my environment, confident in my surroundings. Um, and a big part of that comes from obviously the gaffer and and my teammates, but the supporters as well. Um, you know, I think we all felt the support from from the stands, um, and it helped us in the the difficult moments we had last year around February and March time when we picked up a couple really crucial points um but also helped us when when we were playing quite well and it helped us score quite a lot of goals last year um and i think everybody's hopeful the squad's a year older now um i think everybody's hopeful that you know we can right a few wrongs that that happened last season and and really have a right go this year i kind of mentioned the squad there obviously a big number of that squad's still going to be together next season is that something that you see as a positive i think it's a huge positive um i mean obviously Ruel signed his contract um Someone else has signed their contract. Tom James, Tom James, James has signed his contract. Um, I'm glad I forgot him. He's not going to turn over that. <laughs> he's been um, injured. To be yeah, fair. he's been injured for a while. Um, so I think that you know the core of the group's remaining. I think most most other players who were here last year have another year left on their deal, etc. Um, and that's really important. That there's a young squad last year, um, so a year's more experience and and longer to work with with the gaffer. Um, I think that that all that all breathes positivity for for next season. Mm. It seemed like a good dressing room as well. Yeah, it was, um, and is. It was, you know, I can't, you know, even when when things weren't going so well and we hadn't scored a goal in a number of games, you know, there was still a, a level of positivity around the place. Um, people weren't getting onto each other's backs. There was no there's certain traits that you, you can imagine amongst football dressing rooms um, that can happen when things aren't going so well just didn't, didn't occur whatsoever last year. Um, and... You know, that's one of the main reasons why why I wanted to stay as well, for sure. I mean, just like we've got such a good group here, and I think a good group, especially at the level we're playing at, it can go such a long way. I think, you know, we're talented, but um, talent can only get you so far a lot of the time. And I think togetherness and camaraderie and having a real strong bond between the team and the staff, um, I think that can really help you go on to achieve something that you want to achieve. Mm. You spoke a bit about the manager, Richie Wellens obviously came in around February time and, and results did pick up. So how much have you enjoyed playing under him? Yeah, yeah, no, I I enjoyed the last couple of months working under Richie a lot. Um obviously moved back onto the, the right hand side, which I hadn't actually played at all previously, um in the season under under Matt when he was there briefly and, and Kenny before that as well. Um and to be honest, that's probably where I feel like I can create the most and you have the most impact on a game coming inside um and so for that reason obviously i i enjoyed working under him but actually just the the level of the level of tactical knowledge that he's, he's putting into us we didn't really have probably quite enough time on the training ground to, to to start learning everything that he wants in terms of build up play and different movements and positioning etc but we've got obviously five or six weeks in pre-season to really nail down a few key components of of uh the gaffer's plan and I think after that everyone's gonna everyone's gonna be ready to go with exactly how he wants to play come the 30th of July. Mm. And in terms of targets for next season is it about trying to get into that top seven? I uh, definitely definitely um I mean I think we all we all spoke last year we obviously had quite a good start last year and I think I think I almost got to the point where I was like oh we're, we're flying you know but like if this is what's gonna be like all season like why can't we just get in the top three football doesn't work like that obviously but um no I think if we're realistic then the top seven's absolutely got to be the minimum aim this year. Um, 
and I'm sure there's probably 15 or 16 clubs in the division that are probably saying that but um, we need to we need to make sure that we're one of them next season without doubt and then just finally what your message be to the supporters well the supporters of this great old institution come down in their numbers always um, and look I just hope that you guys come down again and make some make some noise next next season um, I think it's going to be an exciting one I hope you all do too um, and I'll see you on July 30th